right right now what's going on everybody oh yeah i'm greasy and shaking oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> We have made it to another episode of the second season ish, technically a frame to frame. You are watching Choir Days. And this edition of Choir Days are pumped because we are reminiscing on our time on uh in the Coral Arts program at Woodlawn High School in Maryland, Woodlawn, Maryland. Um under the direction of a few directors. We'll get into that later on in the questioning. What I want to do is welcome my two amazing guests mm -hmm. right now. Hello. Oh, hey, no. hey, we got volume, we got visual. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is introduce each one of them, well, let them introduce themselves, tell you about, well, I'll ask y'all some questions so you don't have to remember everything. But uh, let's start with the queen that's in the building. <laughs> the queen glow. Yeah, I'm saying. So can you just introduce yourself and tell us what you're doing now? I'll ask you questions about back then, but tell us your name and what, you, what you're doing with your career, family, stuff like that you want to share with the people. Okay. My name is Tia. I am class O2 at Woodlawn High. Yay! <laughs> I'm a mail carrier. I've been a mail carrier for seven years. Okay. Uh, it's been a long seven years. Not here. <laughs> still there, okay. Um, I love being a mail carrier. The reason okay. so is because I am very passionate about my customers. Come on. I have customers that love and adore me. I have customers that trust me to deliver into their home if right. they're not there. Okay. That should, tell, that should tell you a lot about me. Okay. Come on, integrity. All right now, all right. <laughs> Um, accomplishments. Let's see. I have, um, right now I'm getting my second home built. Oh, nice. Okay. Properties. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is my forever home. Okay. Okay. So that was a huge compliment for me. Okay. Yes. So, um, I also want to, as I get my home, I want to establish my own, my own trucking business. Okay. Okay. So that is another goal that I am working on to establish and to achieve. Amen. So hey, that's 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 it. That's it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna save the questions for the second round. Sean, uh, introduce yourself. I mean, I don't know if I can top that, but <laughs> it's not about top. We is family. We <laughs> What's up everybody? I'm Sean. Um I am a behavioral therapist during the day. Um, I work for a behavioral school. I can't tell you which one. I can't tell you. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to buy something creeping up on me. <laughs> but no, um, I also have a group um, named Sean Wilkins and Remnant. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at Sean Wilkins and Remnant at S E A N W I L K I N S. And A N D Remnant R E M N A N T. Um, we have two albums out now. They have done hey. awesome. Um, our third album was supposed to be out last year, but of course, COVID. Um, mm -hmm. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to have a small release and kind of put it out this year. Um, those are the plans. But yeah, so I still kind of sing a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> You on your Kirk Franklin right now, right? <laughs> uh, up front. So, um, Sean, are you able to do give more light for your um, your camera at all? I can try. If not, it's, we gonna roll. We can see you, but is it really really dark? Uh, is it really really dark? Well, we can see your face, but you know, if not, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm glad. laughs> All right, so we about to jump right in it, and y'all, we got a special guest that just joined. I ain't gonna say her name yet, but it better be having content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got to get it together, Heather in the building. Right. <laughs> I'm about to talk about you a little later, so I hope you hang on for a while. Uh, let's go back to Tia. So Tia, let's run. That. You are class of 2002, right? Yeah. Tell us 
tell us your uh, your musical involvement and whatnot. Like, what uh, what groups and stuff were you on? Choirs and stuff like that. I was on Honest <laughs> Girls and Honest Corral. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So, and, and the girls course was that ninth grade. Yes. Freshman year, uh -huh. right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. So Absolutely. I was on. I was on um, the choir up until my senior year. Right. So I, I kept it going, you know, mm -hmm. and I sung soprano. Turn up, right. soprano. Yeah. My favorite section. <laughs> so I haven't said much because I'm the host, but ladies and gentlemen, your boy brother Cal. If y'all want to find out more about me, Mr. Talk Too Much, just check out www.calvertheSpecialist.com. So I don't take up too much time. Um. I, like Tia, graduated O2. Yes. <laughs> and we repped hard. We repped hard. <laughs> so, um, so I want to bring it right back to Sean. Sean, uh, what year did you graduate and which groups were you on? So I graduated O4. Um, I remember both of you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so um, a little bit of my history. So I actually met Miss Carlson before I was actually in high school because my best oh. friend, Shannon Finch, she graduated in 01, and she was uh, in some choir. I'm not sure. <clears throat> so I used okay. to come to all of y'all concerts. Oh, and, wow. Um, I actually looked up to – do y'all remember Chris Dixon? Yep. So, you know, like, I mean, uh, everybody doesn't know this, but I was the uh, the 04 uh, choir president. So uh -huh. I, since before, when I saw him sing um, Maryland, My Maryland at 01's graduation, I was I want that to be me. Like, I was so pumped, like, to do that. So when I was in ninth grade, I actually asked Ms. Carlson, I'm like, can I be, like, in chamber choir or something like that? And she was just like, you have to wait until 10th grade. So 10th mm -hmm. grade came along, and I was in chamber choir. And, of course, you know, Calvin, because we sung in chamber choir, we had to sing in every one of the choirs that, you know, like, except for the girls' choir, of course. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> chamber choir, Honest Corral. We kind of did our own thing sometimes. Um, it was just real. It was like mad, cool, mad fun. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, yeah. I mean, what else? Yeah. So I was on uh, the ninth grade boys' course. That was <laughs> under the direction of uh, Mr. Michael Miller, mm -hmm. and he was dope. Um, uh, Tia, who was the director of the, the girls' course, ninth grade? It was Carson. Okay, I just yeah. I know because yeah, we had. Did, we had, we had both. Uh, yeah, so we had Mr. Miller for uh, ninth grade boys' course. Okay. Um, and I just remember that time; it was hilarious. Let me talk about that a little bit, even though I don't have anybody else on here from from that from the uh, boys' so course. You were so there was a boys' course when you were in the ninth grade, because by the yeah. time I was up yeah. there, it was just like ninth grade choir and Miss Smith. Yeah, it was gone. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So were you there like the last year? Say, so, uh, I, I think so. I feel like we okay. were. Okay. It may it may have been one. I more. think you. I think. Yeah, I think it, it worked. I never knew that. Yeah. Yep. They had the boys school. and the girls. Because I don't think we could do Honest Corral until, like she, like she's y'all was saying, 10th grade. 10th grade, mm -hmm. yeah. So we had to start on something else. Anyway, so <laughs> Mr. Miller used to do, he had a contract to do the national anthem for all of the home Ravens games back then. I don't know what's going on with him now, musically and stuff like that. But he was so cool, man. And uh, I'll just give you a couple points and we'll move on because I don't have anybody else to bounce back off from that. From that group. Um, you all remember George Waters? Yeah. Yeah. George is so funny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> George Waters, shout out to him. He was um, an athlete. He was on the football team, I think. I don't want – I think he was on the football team. Yeah, he was. But he was on the Honest Corral too. Well, I'm sorry, the Boys Chorus and Honest Corral later. But um, – and he could sing. George so, can sing. Come on. Sing, sing. So, like, yeah. Yeah. So one time, this is this is later. This is like 10th or 11th year. And he's not going to be mad that I told this story because we joke about this all the time. So he came in class like a half hour late. I'm not a half hour because I think classes weren't even that long. Probably like he was real late, like, like 10 to 15 minutes late. He bumped, walks right into the classroom, right? At this time, we had a, like, six-foot-tall, same same height as George, um, math teacher. And I forgot his – I feel like it was Boris. That, that's what's coming to mind, but I'm not sure. But a, a black man, like, six-foot-tall, big dude. So he's standing up front. George walks in the door, stops at the door. I think George was high. And I can't remember if – I, I, I DM him every, like, five years and joke about it, but I can't remember if, if he said he was or not. But – I feel like he was high. Something was going on. 
he stopped at the door and started freestyling for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Great. And he was cracking on Mr. Boris and just saying all kind of off the wall stuff. Nothing like he wasn't like being real disrespectful. He just he was freestyling for and, and, the, and shockingly, Mr. Boy stood there and looked at him. He was just like, because I think he was just in shock as we were, like, is this really happening right now? And how long is this about to last? Like, I think he was also testing, like, well, how long can he keep this up? I don't know. But <laughs> Mr. Boy, whatever his name was, stood there and watched, like, three feet away. George is looking at him in the face, rapping, looking at the class. <laughs> I watched it was 10 or 15 minutes. I'm telling you, it was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in life in person. I couldn't believe it. So, anyway, that was one thing. But back to ninth grade. So, my first time ever leading a song at Woodlawn was on the ninth grade boys' chorus. And so, Mr. Miller selected us. We didn't have to audition, he would listen as we sung choir songs or whatever when he wanted to. Oh, so you didn't uh, hit audition? No, I don't. Now, they, if they did, they can correct me. I don't think we auditioned for it. Oh, wow. The girls, we had to audition. But you know, Miss Coulter was like that sometimes, too. She already knew, like, who she wanted right. to be. Right, sometimes, so yeah. It was kind of just like, okay. Sometimes we did, some, depending on the event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this was a big this was a big concert. That, um, so it was me, it was George Waters, and it was Spencer. Um, Sp Spencer Dobson. He was a little short dude. He was a little goofy dude. He could sing too. So he pulled us three to sing the song, a song for Mama by Boyz II Men. So we sung. I don't think that was a Mother's Day concert, but I know we attributed it to the mothers and all the boys who went around the audience and passed out roses to um, a lot of the women in the audience and stuff like that, like our parents, our mother and stuff like that. That was a beautiful moment. That was my first, first solo. <laughs> Man, it was amazing. It was a beautiful experience. It was scary. As <laughs> I didn't know anybody at Woodlawn High. So, really? um, so no, every all y'all knew about y'all, but a lot of everybody else knew each other from Woodlawn Middle or uh, Southwest. Southwest Academy, yeah. Okay. I came straight from the city, right into the county, boop, and right to Woodlawn. Oh, so he's yeah. a thug. See, he was a thug. He was a thug. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Andy, so, uh, what else about the, the boys' chorus? Okay, that I'll, that's it, because nobody else here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm trying to think if I should go into these questions, y'all. Do I have anything else to add? All right, so I mean, let's get into these questions out of the hat. Y'all ready? Do it. Let's do it. We we reflecting to those who just oh, Miss Carlton said. Music based on the voices in the group. She sh she sometimes chose, like you said, yeah. sometimes, sometimes, sometimes she didn't. Because I definitely had the audition. So, yeah, we'll get into that later. So, some of the moments. All right, so let's see. The first one I pick is our... Uh... <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see this. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, were, were there songs that you auditioned for that you really wanted and didn't get? Tia, go ahead and take it. Woo. If you can uh, remember, <laughs> I don't remember any songs that I wanted. Um, okay, but I do remember that you know there were times where I actually did want a solo spot. Okay, there was always one person always got picked to do the solo. Who was the person to you? Do you remember? Jules. <laughs> <laughs> She always got picked. <laughs> I mean, nothing against her, you know. She has a beautiful voice and everything, you know. But I was like, well, dang, can you get somebody else to solo We, You know, there's people that's in here that can sing, you know. Oh, wait, so she wasn't on the only girl the ninth grade girls course at the time? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because she was, like, in here. I was like, okay. Yeah. You know, in the choir, you know, like, hey, you know, I'm back here, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Okay, you know. I, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> and so, um, Sean, what about you? Only one year. It was my <laughs> tenth grade year. It was my first year in chambers in chamber choir. Um, and I think 
I don't know if you remember this, Calvin, but remember uh, George actually was in Chamber Choir for like two two months, and then uh -oh. he told Miss Carlton it was a little bit too serious for him, you know, because George was like the class act. He was crazy. So he right. actually ended up just being an honest corral. So he got his oh, okay. change. changed. But it was a song that Charles sung the prior year that Miss Carlton wanted to bring back, and I think it was called like it, Motherless Child or something like that. And Okay. Um, it was called for a tenor solo. I wanted that solo so bad. I only wanted it because I seen Chris do it like two years before I did it. So I okay. was thinking that, like, I'm gonna walk in his footsteps. I'm gonna, you know, ah! do what I can do. You know what I'm and George actually ended up getting it. Ms. Okay. Had us go, I think it was like three tenors on this corral in that year. It was me, George, and Kirk. And Ms. Carlson had us go down the line in class. And I was so nervous. And I remember saying after class to tell her that I was so nervous. She was just like, oh, no, I can handle that. And so right. I was a little upset because I really thought that I, you know, like, I did the, did the damn one thing. You know, like, my solo or whatever. And George got it. And I was just like, I was a little salty a little bit. But, you know, it was cool. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Carlson said, wow, know. I remember this. Yeah, she remember that. So, uh, what is this? Uh, I am Ray I know who this is. I, I feel like his name is Richard. Type your type your real name so I can make sure that's Richard. you. Shout, shout out to Richard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. He was so cool. He was an honest corral. Shout yeah. out. Shout out. <laughs> See, with these Instagram Richard, names. Richard, so uh, <laughs> Remember when we used to sing, um, what, uh, 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 your house won't stand? He used to be like, <laughs> <laughs> like he used to be so <laughs> Pablo, that's what we used to call him, Pablo. Yeah, that was my boy. Oh, uh, hi, Brandon. Oh, that's my baby. Oh, uh, Brandon, are you? yeah, my, my girl, Brandon. I just saw her comment. Oh, Brandis, yes, <laughs> wait, Brandis, I'm with Laura, right? Yeah, like, uh huh. Uh -huh. Hey, yeah, what's up, Brandis? Is that <laughs> <in> my boo? <laughs> So um, let me see. Oh, it was not so. It took. It was a couple, man. I wanted. To, I I wanted. To, I was like, T, I wanted to lead everything. So, um, so the one funny one was. I know Miss Carlton remembers this. Uh -oh, a, I got a couple. I want Miss Carlton now. I don't know if you were, if y'all remember this, Shauna and T. This is an honest corral moment. I wanted to. I wanted us to sing so I can lead. Um, no weapon formed against each other possible by Fred Hammond. So mm -hmm. I was sitting calling at the piano and pluck keys. Y'all know I can't play nothing. I'd be looking at her, she'd be like, and she'd be like, thing. Well, you know what I mean? Remember the thing she's And so that was one more, but we know we never sung that, but I used to mess with her all the time with that. But the one I actually auditioned for, I remember, is I was up, not against, but like Tia said, Jewel was, was um, auditioning for it. Mm -hmm. um, I think my Isha was up, um, me, and then she kind of opened it that day um, to to see who else wanted to do it. It was um, done. Made my vow to the Lord. You know, done. Uh, made my uh, vow to the Lord. Oh 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 oh! oh. I open my mouth. Yeah, we could be the terrible. Yeah yeah yeah. That's a little classic. Oh yeah, yeah. Back, yeah. Back, remember that? Yeah. that. We had to turn. We had to lean back. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I couldn't, so everybody know I struggled to this day with pitch accuracy, but it was worse back then. So for the life of me, I could not get the starting note. And I was standing there. It was my time audition. I was like, Miss Carlton, what's the starting note? She's like, nope, I already did it. Because, you know, she had hit it. <laughs> right before everybody thinks she hit. So hit your starting chord. Bam. And so she did that, but I, I could, still couldn't catch. So <laughs> he's like, nope, you got it. It's your turn. You got to do it. I was like, oh, Lord. So I literally was like this. I was like, sometime, 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 sometime please. <laughs> I could not. I was all the starting key. It was hilarious. It wasn't hilarious. Then, right? I, you know, I really wanted to leave it. I was like, I can do it with rehearsal, but I can't. Acapella with the, I couldn't work it out. So, of course, I didn't get it. But uh, <laughs> Calvin, sorry to tell you, but I had a, so I had a solo on that song one year. I don't you know did? if it was my 11th or 12th grade year, but like, yeah, like. That's what's up. Yeah. No, but I don't have you for everybody. You know, I, technically, I was like, all right, I already got mine out of the way with Mr. Miller, you know, and then we did it again for like in the cafeteria. It was a Mother's Day event. So it was me, Kirk Thomas, and it was supposed to be Noriega, 
and Mark McKenzie, all four of us, I pulled them together. We was rehearsing at school. We was getting it. And then Nori and Mark dropped out on me and Kirk. And I was like, you still going to do it? He like, yeah, we going to do it. So we did, just me and him. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did that song out in the community at a couple of churches, me and him. So that was a, that was a fun time. <clears throat> I'm ready for the next question. Let me see what they're saying. Let me see too. I can't. I'm gonna mess around and end the live. Y'all can talk with it. I can't do it. It's too much. Going. I, I can see it. Like oh no, Pablo said he used to be real pumped on Lighthouse. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> was. had them flashlights. No, remember that one time we sung at Miss Carlton's church, and she said we need all the house house lights out. And this one idiot like took that flashlight. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> she was so mad. She was so mad. She was. She was. <laughs> it always got to be one. Yes, always. <laughs> so for those who don't know what he's talking about, there was a song, I don't know who it's by, but let the light from the lighthouse, let it shine on me. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, they said they don't know. Benjamin Noriega is who I was talking about, y'all. <laughs> they was like, I haven't heard that name. Yes, that was Benjamin Noriega. But uh, that, um, she said, I was heated. heated. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let it go, like, so uh, shout out to Sabria. Um, she she danced. She um, she was very talented. She was on the Honors Corral. So she choreographed. Her and Ms. Carlton worked it out. And she choreographed an entire routine mm -hmm. for uh, for that song using flashlights where each section would have choreographed moves that would cross the other sections. And from the audience, it looked like a lighthouse slash um, light show. If you yeah. think it was a mega tour or something like that. And so the lights was cut out. And then at certain points, we turn our lights on and flash them and move them like that as we sung to the words. It was so dope. And the videos that we got to see, if anybody, I'm going to say this, I hope that I can say this a couple of times. If you have videos of any Whitlawn High School uh, music events, talent shows between uh, 1999 through 2004. Holler at me, please. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if y'all remember. I mean, I mean y'all could hear the music I was playing when y'all first got on. Could y'all hear it? Oh, yeah, we can hear it. Yeah. Um, Do you remember what that what was? was? Playing, uh, 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 what was you playing? Yeah, I was playing... No, you wasn't playing that. I was playing Stephen McCoy. Uh, uh, no doubt. You can make oh, 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 oh. But, but I was playing our version from the live from the live DVD CD. That we did uh like the year after I graduated. When, when you directed the like, alumni ensemble. Okay, okay, okay. I remember that. Yes. I remember that. Mm. Yeah. It's on YouTube. I put it on mm. YouTube last Oh yeah, I need to go see that. I'm gonna check yeah, that out. I bought the DVD and the C D. I man. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that was a beautiful time um, and an awesome moment as well. Um, yeah, all right. So we ready or y'all want to say something out? No, we ready. Go ahead. Okay. Keep it moving. All right, all right, all right. Next. Do you have a favorite vocal warm-up? And if so, from which choir were you on at the time? And can you sing it? I don't have a favorite one. I have a least favorite one. Oh, what was it? Miss Carlton always used to make us do this, and she said because it loosens up. Um, I already know where he going. The lip trill. I could not. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> I, I, to this day, I still, I still can't do it. Like you it just did. Good, but you just no, did. It. Compared to what y'all used to do, that was. Oh, you can't scale. You can't scale. Like, I, can, I can just do like you know the little one. No, I can't do like. I can see it's. I can't do it. But no, I, I, I can't hate, do that. I hate that when she used to make us do that because it used to work, but I couldn't do it mm -mm. Right. as much as y'all did it. Can y'all still see me? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Because I'm trying to screen record, but it's it's acting stupid on me. Okay, stop right there. Let me try one more time. Get the files. Get the files. Why is it playing with me? It won't let me be great. I'll have to come back later and get it. All right, so um, mine was when we did, I believe we did it on Chamber, but she might have, sometimes she would switch up and do it with Honest Corral TV, some of the stuff. So, but I think it was officially Chamber, but it was so beautiful. Like, if it was, a, like, I would want it to be a home, like, 
what it would sound like being a whole song. And um, it was so beautiful. It was like, like I ain't going to sing it beautiful, but it was beautiful when everybody sung it. Are you about to say, so, you're, about to, you're, about to say you're probably about to say my favorite song. It's not a song. It's a warm up. Well, be I like, mean, we um, to, what, what is it? It would be like, um, See the rise. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's not my favorite. Song. Oh my god, I forgot all about that. <laughs> you remember when the Supreme when we were whole new and the Supreme would be like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man, I don't know. I need to research. I don't know if it's a, if it's a whole four minutes of that, some other stuff in there. I don't know, but that was so dope. You what about you? To make us do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And we had to do it over and over and over and over. And I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, you had to God. warm it up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if Miss Carlton still with us. I'm going to try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to add her on and see if she can come on for like two minutes. Miss Carlton, I sent you a request because we can have four people on. Um, if you have a second or two of your time, uh-huh. All right, that, so is that your own, the only one you remember to you or the only one you, oh, wait, you didn't like that one. Which, is there one that you did like? That was my least, my least. No. Because she's going to make us one? do it over and over and over again. So it wasn't <laughs> one that stuck with you like? I hate it. <laughs> you know what, Tim? I think Tim is talking to you to make us do that to, like, so we could, like, sight, it would enhance our sight reading. Because you know she yeah. didn't play about that sight reading, especially no, when did. we went to adjudication. Mm. Oh, don't talk about mm. adjudication. Mm. Woo. Yeah, Woo. That's, that's another talk question. About that, that's just, well, no, because that's not one of my questions. Thank you. So to everybody out there, adjudication was uh, what it sounds like. <laughs> you sung it and were judged based on your sight reading skills, and technically your vocal sight singing as well, but more so your ability to follow the sheet music from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. It said she was unable to uh, join. Oh. Um, and so, how to explain it. So I thank God for Miss Carlton, and I was gonna wait till she got on or later on, but I thank God for her because for so many reasons. But what she did was she exposed us to so much, mm -hmm. um, so many styles of mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. In chamber, we sung French magicals, um, mm -hmm. Billy Billy Bo Bo Bo. That and that's about, songs. Songs. <laughs> and that song was about yes. prostitution or, or or the woman cheating on the man, something like that. She yeah. um, she broke down for us, but it was a French magical, like what, like you know what I'm saying? Black kids, uh, uh, public school learning and understanding what a French magical is. There were other stuff we sung with languages and other styles from uh, classical to um. Uh, forget I forget the other name of it. But then there's the gospel. Then there's a little bit of the R and B for the you know the graduation ceremony, mm -hmm. stuff like that. A mixture of all these things. And adjudication was a mind blower because she prepared us so hard, and I was horrible at, at sight reading, let alone sight singing. <laughs> uh, I can do it with the group. I can kind of hang in a little bit, drop in and drop out. But in adjudication, you were by yourself with some sheet music. Yeah, That's you were. And, uh, she could do anything. It was kind of like you know they gave you the sheet music, and I think they they gave you like not even two minutes to memorize it or to go over yeah. it. You know, like yeah. but you couldn't sing it out loud. You had to basically do it in your head, and mm -hmm. then they would give you the pitch, and it'd be like one, two, three, go, like, and it would just be that. Mm -hmm. And one but, thing I respect her for, I'm sorry, yeah. Sean. No, 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 one no, thing no, I respect no, her no, for, no. she told us discipline. Yeah, come on. You know. I mean, especially because if you remember, Calvin, uh -uh. you always separate you, Jan, and me. And you. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but we stayed in trouble all the time. And you know what? We used to be tripping. We used to be tripping. We used to be geeking all the time. Hard. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then she would slam the piano head down. Bam! And call us out. <laughs> then she separate us. And we look at each other like, dang. <laughs> yeah, that is. But yeah, she told us discipline. She really did. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. And, uh, Sean, do you remember when we was at adjudication? It was, and Chamber was in there at the time. And we, it probably was the French magical that we messed up. 
But we we started this. No, it was yeah, any bitty because it, it was all over the place. If you had to be on, and on, she stopped um, it, and we had to start again. Are you about to say that? She stopped it like <laughs> I remember that. She looking at us like this. She stopped it, and we like, <laughs> and the people watching out, they looking at us right. It is just lights on us. It's spotlights then, on us. Right? But then remember, and she stopped it because she was like, she was like, y'all can do this, right? <laughs> yeah. She was she ain't stopped was like y'all ain't gonna embarrass me. That probably was in there too, you know, realistically for human, but she she used that that time to encourage our hearts mm -hmm. and not mm -hmm. bring us even more down than than <laughs> us having to stop. Because we yeah. knew but, yeah. and we, we took she told us take a breath. Yeah. And she started us again. I can't remember. I, re uh -huh. I remember that time. I think that was probably your twelfth grade year, my eleventh grade year. <laughs> Or mm -hmm. maybe my my first year, my tenth grade year. I'm Don't not sure, but I, was I remember <laughs> it was either my tenth or uh, my eleventh grade year. But I remember because re remember Miss Carlson used to always well. Let, I'm I'm not sure if she did chamber choir like I mean um honest Carell like this because I didn't have honest Carell in class. We just had to remember. We just had to learn honest Carell music, you know, and sing with the when they went out. But mm -hmm. um, I remember she used to let us get a tape from adjudication. And mm -hmm. I remember a judge saying that they liked that she did that, and you know, like and proceeded. Right. Yeah. Because you that. weren't supposed to, because you would lose points if you started again. But yeah, I guess they understood. Yeah. And we ended up getting the one that year again. They had they had a heart. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Shout out to <laughs> judges. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Look, up, oh, there it goes right there. One well, pop down. Well, so, Oh. I'm going to leave one on the floor. <laughs> this is the winner, the, the last one I was going to pick up. Favorite songs. We didn't really talk about favorite songs. There's a lot of them. We talked about favorite warm-ups. Who want to go first? Favorite songs? Favorite. Yeah, I can go first. Or... Okay, Sean. Um, I'm not sure. She used to make us do this as a song and a warm-up sometimes. I'm not sure if Honest Carol did it. I know Shane McGuire did it. Um, the name of the song coming to me, but I have the tune in my head. Um, I know the tenor part. It goes like, um, the ending of the song goes, Amen, Amen, Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord, that's what, that's what it is. You know what I'm talking about? I hated that song. You hated that song? I love that song. <laughs> but I, I like the tenor part on when it says, because um, the Lord lifts his countenance on, upon you. Oh, wait, you know, yeah, flat, but yeah, yeah, that yeah, tenor yeah. part right that little part right there was dope. But <laughs> And I did like the ending. But that whole how it started is what I like. But yeah, any more? The bless you. <laughs> Ms. Gunther said the bless you. Um, uh, <laughs> the Lord bless you. Um, of course, I like all of the... Uh, all of the uh, 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 gospel music. Um, remember this time we did, I'm not sure if you had already graduated from Calvin, but uh, it was a Christmas song. Um, gonna run, 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 run to the major, gonna run. run. You don't remember that? No, I don't. No, I don't. don't know. Know. Okay, maybe y'all. Not to say that, because I remember we, on Chamber, we used to go caroling. So right. I don't remember if it, it could have been a Carolyn we, song. We did that song on Carolyn too. Okay, but yeah, yeah. but, but it was, I don't. It was, I don't, it was like a Christmas many. song. Okay, yeah, I don't remember um, that one. But that was one of your favorites. Yeah, I enjoy I like everything. Yeah. So my one of my least favorites is, um, besides the French magical, all of the adjudication music. <laughs> I just I hate. The adjudication music. I mean, I used to do it, of course, because I'm a team player. But right. I just, I don't know. But what I did, like the Miss Carlson used to do, like in my uh, maybe in my eleventh or twelfth grade, year, she used to start teaching the adjudication music in the beginning of the year, so it wouldn't seem as hard, like right. during the time, you know. And I think it was, um, I didn't like it because it was challenging for me because it was a bit different, you know. Like I grew up super here, challenging. So, yeah. So and it wasn't. Like, we used to sing stuff that, you know, colleges used to sing and things like that. So, mm -hmm. it was kind of like, mm, I didn't really like this. It, I only really didn't like it because it was challenging. It wasn't that we couldn't do it or I hated the song, but mm -hmm. being challenged doesn't feel nice. So, it was kind of like, okay, I don't really like this, but, you know, I did it. 
Yeah, not in that moment, it don't. Yeah. <laughs> See, you See I, I like being I like being challenged because <laughs> you don't know what you what you're capable of doing until you do it. That's true. Yeah. So I enjoy like everything that she has taught us, all types of music. You know, because like back in high school, you know, I had my own set of friends, but at the end of the day, I was still like shy. You know, so okay. music was like my comfort zone. So anything that she has taught us music, uh, musical, whatever. It's right. just, I just love to learn, like, different types. Because, you know, sometimes certain people, they will stay in one little category. Mm -hmm. You know? And she she wasn't about that. She brought us out with everything that she wanted us to learn. And I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I really did. That was, like, my thing. I enjoyed it. You know, having our concerts at night, and then our parents come to see us. And yeah. I just loved it. I loved it. Especially and they be screaming the and the crowd used to be so <laughs> yes. good. Yes. Our audience used to be turnt. Yes. We used to come marching down the aisle. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. We used to come marching down the aisle with our choreography and right. everything. Look, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> man, I loved high school. I used to hear so many people complaining, like, I can't wait to get the F out of here, man. This school ain't been. I used to be looking at them like, girl, right? And they would ask you sometimes, don't you, can't you wait till you go? I was like, well, I mean, I do want to graduate. I can't wait for that, too. But I loved high school. Me, too. <laughs> I actually enjoyed it. Mr. Miller and Miss Carlton um, in the choral arts program, the music department, high school would not have been the same for me. And maybe I would have been one of them people like, I hate that, 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 that. But, man, I used to love every moment, even the moments I didn't like. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's when I look back on it, you know what I'm saying? At the end of it, it was for a reason. And it added to the beauty of my experience. Um, some of the song, the top songs I loved was The Lighthouse, of course. That was oh, one, yeah. probably one of my top favorites because of the whole performance. Mm -hmm. And what was the one that Nature used to lead on Honest Corral? Her and Maisha used to switch. It was Lighthouse? Yeah, that was Lighthouse. Okay. I used they to love used to when Nature used to lead. that song so bad. Come on. So and then look, she'll break out challenge. <laughs> she'll break huh? out challenge. Yes. <laughs> break out challenge. Every time. <laughs> Start a whole praise break. <laughs> but do y'all remember? This is my most favorite memory of all life at Woodlawn. So, do y'all remember? Because uh, I, I think all three of us were apart at this time, I think. There was a big concert that, that we had with our rival schools, Woodlawn, yes. Milford, and Randallstown. At it was at Randallstown, right? No, it was, it was at Milford. Milford. It was at Milford. Yeah, it a was nice at Milford. Time concert on the weekend. All yeah. three schools' music, the programs, the bands, and the choral mm -hmm. program of all three schools came together for one night. It was it was pandemonium in there. Not one negative incident. It was crowded. I it was not, that not, that not that one that. negative <laughs> incident. Not not one uh not one no, no shade was being thrown. We were unified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it blew my mind because we were all mm -hmm. rival schools. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And and how and who would think that you know these three public schools, predominantly black, um, would be able to come together. And no violence happened, just music, just mm -hmm. celebrate, just arts, just mm -hmm. talent, just us being poured into by our mentors, our, our choir teachers, our vocal teachers, our band teachers. Shout out to the bands of those schools, man. Shout out to that was I don't know whose idea was it of the teachers. They that was a genius move. I'm so glad I was able to be a part of it because it blessed me beyond school. It made me think a lot yeah. about mm -hmm. us as a people, what we can do, what we do together, what's possible. Mm -hmm. All of that. I can, I can talk more of that, but all of that. So that was my number one favorite moment of high school. But so, you know, that music was... alone brings black oh, people it. together anyway. Because music talks value. Mm -hmm. And, you know, from experiences down to relationships, mm -hmm. down to violence, down to racism, you know, it brings yeah. black people closer together. So that was a good idea from the from the jump. Yes. So I you know ain't gonna be no Any of us wanted it to end. No. Uh. Uh. That was the uh -uh. first time I actually felt the wrath, the wrath of Heather Carlton, because that night. Um, uh oh. I don't know if y'all knew this, but up until the tenth grade, I used to, I used to sing with the Milford Choir. 
So um, Christ was my own my own teacher, and when I was in South, when I went to Southwest. So basically, me and Janelle still sung. Janelle Tate, we still sung with the vocal choir in ninth and tenth grade. After the tenth grade, I was like, I'm not doing this no more. It just began to too much. But I remember Miss Carlton never told us that we couldn't sing with Milford Choir. She just really wanted to know what was going on. So basically, when we were supposed to be in, like, I think sound check or something like that, because remember, she, we, we were in this little room at first where Miss Carlton was warming us up. And uh, I came in late, and Miss Carlton at switch it now, and I was just like, I don't know where she is. And I knew where she was, but she was you know, with Milford Choir. And when she saw that, you know, like we were walking to go up to sing with Milford Choir, and I saw the look on Miss Carlton's face, I was just like, I'm not singing. Like, I'm not singing with their choir today, because it was kind of like, you know, like I'm, I belong to Woodlawn, so I would not sing with that choir. Her look was like, like, what are you doing? Like, I remember she was so, she was pissed. She was pissed. I think it was uh, the fact that. Is she saying anything? Oh, you. Is she, is she saying anything? <laughs> she just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was a point that she didn't want us to sing. I just think that it was a point that we were trying to be sneaky because we didn't yeah. tell her what was going on. So I don't know. Janelle still sung. After all I done for you, you're going to sneak. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Janelle still sung, and I was just like, I, I didn't sing with Miffa Gwaii that day. And, like, I remember Price, like, you know, asking me after, like, well, like, well, what happened? I was just like, I just really wasn't feeling it. I was just like, I just sung with Woodlawn and, you know, called it a day. But Miss Carlton was pissed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I bet she was. She said, "Yep, because your lord, you supposed to be loyal, <laughs> right?" <laughs> and I was. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, let's take it to the head. We, we down to our last couple of questions, or well, su subjects, shake whatever. It up, shake it up. You know, we did that one. Least favorite songs. All right. Well, I already, I already answered this accidentally, um, but it's on y'all now. And we all kind of did. But if you got something else you want to drop, if not, we'll move on. But it says, uh, what did the choral arts program mean to you back then? <clears throat> Tia, you want to go first? So we good? Oh, okay. Tia. <laughs> you, you said everything earlier. Okay. Yeah. Um, so for me, um, <laughs> I think uh, Miss Carlton is probably the only one that knows this chat. Um, I didn't want to go to Woodlawn um, mm. at all. Oh wow! I either, I either wanted to go to Baltimore School for the Arts mm -hmm. or Milford because I was used to Mr. Price, and um, I had a call back going to Baltimore School for the Arts and. My mother was late dropping me off, and I don't know if y'all know about the audition process um, at BSA, but if you're kind of like, oh no, you don't get another chance, like even if it's a callback. So basically, I was, you know, SOL, like with BSA. So Aww. my mother was just like, oh, you're not going to Milford. She was like, you're going to Woodlawn, like with your brother. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, I don't even like Woodlawn. And up until then, like, I used to hear bad things about Woodlawn. They used to fight oh, yeah. every Friday uh -huh. and this and that. Yep. And honestly, yep. the only reason why I really fell in love with Woodlawn was because of the fire. Like, I was right. determined. You know what? Same here. I mm -hmm. was determined, like, you know, like, I was supposed to be in the co-op program or the work-study program in the 12th grade. And I remember um, whatever the co-op teacher name at that time, it was two of them, the black one. She was just like, you can't sing in the choir and basically, you know, like, be in this program. Because basically, remember, we went to school the half a day and then we either went to college or, you know, we went to work the other half of the day. And I was just like, well, I'm not being a part of this program. Like, in my 12th grade, yeah, I was just like, I have to be in the choir. I have to become, you know... The music department president, like it was just like it was yeah. real to me, like you know, like it was just like I, I don't care if I hook all three class, all five or six classes, I'm going to Miss Carlton's class every <laughs> day. But yeah, the music program was like a big influence on my life, like um, mm -hmm. even like you know, like involving church and things like that, because I used to bring some of the music back that we used to learn on Scarell to church and vice versa, mm -hmm. you know, um, but yeah, like. That's why I was so heavy, like, you know, on, like, coming back to, like, direct and, you know, like, teaching the kids certain things when Miss Coulter was still there. Um, but it wasn't only the music department. It was mainly her, for real. I think that if it, if I had mm -hmm. another director, I probably wouldn't have turned out the way that I turned out or wouldn't have, like, you know, continued with the choir as long as I did. I'm remembering uh, we had so many amazing moments 
And um, yes, we're still attributing you right now, Miss Carlton. You, you can't do nothing about it. We love you. But uh, <laughs> there's so many beautiful moments that happen between us, like student teacher, like the mm -hmm. bond and stuff because of who she was to mm -hmm. us and how she. Um, I'm sorry, she's here. So it's called how you, uh, <laughs> which is foreign to us, being life to us and wouldn't let us settle for less than excellence, you know, even if it hurt, us, hurt our little feelings. You pushed us for excellence. Definitely. And uh, also made yourself relatable to us. You know, you Definitely. shared yeah. us, your moments you shared, you just shared. And so that opened us up to to want to hear the, the new uh, French magical we about to learn. You know, like this Miss Carlton mm -hmm. here, we trust and the trust was already established from like probably the first 10 minutes of class mm -hmm. you know like yeah. first of the class but um remember when anytime we have, let's say we having a chill moment you know between songs or something we're kind of relaxed and um we joking to someone miss called to hit the wrong note on the keyboard or or do something funny <laughs> and then uh and we all laughing at or something like that and then she'll be like all oh, y'all's mama <laughs> 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 I knew, I knew Miss Carlton loved us like we were her own when one day, you know, she actually shared a personal experience with us. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to get into details, mm -hmm. nothing like that. But when she shared her personal experience with us, on, and I knew then, I was like, you know, she really do, she trusts us for one, mm -hmm. and she really do genuinely love us. You know, and I, I I fell in love with her. She just she was amazing. She was my favorite teacher from mm -hmm. ninth grade to twelfth grade. Yeah, she will always be my Definitely. favorite. Teacher. I love her. I love her. Mm -hmm. I did. I'm a, Mr. Yeah. Fuller, do y'all remember Mr. Fuller? I think he was like a gym teacher or something like that. He yeah. always used to call mm -hmm. his calls and like my mother. Like you know, like every time he would see me, he'd be like, "You're not with your mother today." <laughs> like yeah. that's how close that we she were. She was our mother. Yeah. Honestly, like she was. Like he she was. was. Like you're not with your mother today. Well, where your mother at? Honestly, I think he was trying to holler at her for real. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like Ms. I mean, Carlton, she did have something to look at that. You know. <laughs> Come on, that black don't crack. But Ms. Carlton was like, she was more than a teacher. She was like a counselor. She was like a pastor, a youth pastor. I remember come the on. times that we used to come in there and she used to encourage us so much. Like all of us used to just start crying. Like I, not yeah. honest girl, I'm mainly chamber because honest girl was so big. But like mm -hmm. you know, like chamber by we would just start crying off off of the stuff that she would feed us, you know. And it used to just all be positive stuff, but. It used to be like, you know, like, well, we don't know if we can do it or anything like that, but she used to always encourage us and things like that. So yeah. um, I mm -hmm. definitely appreciate that. Mama Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'll be down to two. Hopefully we haven't covered these. Oh, wait, one. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, I just wrote to you just in case we didn't have our own. We we can talk about tons more memories. That's what it was. Memorable memorable events and moments so we've done that throughout the show uh, so far shout out to everybody from 1999 through 2005 <laughs> we love all of y'all the, the band program too you know y'all can do one too you know get, get some people on there reminisce but uh i definitely had to shout out the uh the our choral arts program because it was such a pivotal moment in my life uh, such a nour nourishing moment in all of our lives you know and um, we all carry those those things, the lessons we were taught with us, even in our careers, no matter what they are, with our families, and even in our, our own individual churches, there were things we were able to bring back uh, and share with our, uh, our church programs and stuff like that. And so it was dope. Yeah. Kelly, yeah. do you remember this? Um, because you were in... Wait. No, you probably... you. You graduated O two, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you were in the choir. You were in chamber choir when uh, Deandra was in chamber choir, were you? No, I remember her from honest career, I think. So her 12th grade year, Ms. Carlton put her in chamber choir. And we had sung at this venue, really nice hotel, things like that. James had, whenever we were singing, James Gamble had forgot the words. And he just started humming. <laughs> It was, uh, 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 I want to be ready, I want to be ready, okay. something like that. Um, and he forgot the words. And 
Deandra bust out laughing in front of everybody while we were on stage. And of course, Miss Carlton, her face, her eyes just got real big and she was just like, oh. <laughs> wait, wait, you, you won't believe this though. So we still had to, like, it was like an intermission and we still had to go back on. And Miss Carlton was so mad, you know, she ended up leaving. <laughs> She was just like, like I'm leaving. She said DeAndre embarrassed her so bad. <laughs> it, it was, it, oh my what? gosh. And it really was funny, but like everybody wanted to laugh, but she was the only one like, ah! and, and we were just like, and you know, like, yeah. So, <laughs> you going left. So she got her stuff yeah. and she told us that she was leaving. She was just like, I'm leaving. <laughs> she, and we were like, Wait. She left. So what y'all do? Did y'all still sing? She gave us, so she stayed until the time that we were about to go on stage, and she gave, like, uh, she blew into the pitch pipe. Did the pitch pipe. She <laughs> gave us that note, and then she was like, peace, like, I'm gone. <laughs> like, did not care. And I remember, that I remember she was mad. Was, I remember that was one of the coolest things about Chamber, though, is there was a couple of times where you know, she, but well, there was one time that she couldn't make it at all. I don't know if you do you remember. I think it was around Christmas time, Sean. I don't know if you were on yet or not, but it was an event that we did off campus. Okay. And it might have even, it wasn't a weekend. I don't know. Don't get me on which day it was, but it was an event off campus. We already knew she was preparing us that she wasn't going to be there at all. So that means we, we were responsible to meet there to get everything together, warm up, prepare, load up in the whatever truck or van, whatever bus, whatever we was doing, mm -hmm. and and get there. And, and I forgot who she had, one of the, who who the staff was from the school that was with her. Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember right now. But stuff like that was dope. Because like Tia was saying, teaching you that discipline, and then, but trusting you like that heavy. Yep. Like it, and she, it was no doubt in her mind that we was not only going to show up, but show out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. of what the work she already put in. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, she was serious you know, by her craft. She was very serious. Yeah, very serious. Remember the time, yeah. I think it was my first year in Chamber Choir. I think, T, T you were, uh, so you were still there. Because Kappa was still there. So it was a Christmas concert. And mm -hmm. it was in the auditorium. I don't rem I don't know what we were singing, but I think like Chamber Choir is probably like the first song that we were singing, and it was kind of like a little dry. And she yelled out, "Emo!" Like, in front of everybody. Do you remember that? And then everybody yeah. just came to life, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I swear, Miss Carlton is like one of the funniest people I know. Like, she was like, low key funny. Yeah, no. Like she. <laughs> If the audience could only see the faces we was getting up yes. there. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and we, but we could not laugh. We couldn't do nothing. We just had to take right. it. We sit there like... Right. <laughs> so, no, no. Oh, no. Remember, remember when we used to walk in class and she used to do this thing? She used to be like, what's up? How you doing? Right. <laughs> do y'all remember that? <laughs> that was from Martin. That was from Martin when they was, when they was auditioning for Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But remember, remember, we, remember she promised us something that she ain't never do. She was supposed to sing for us, like really sing, you know what I'm saying? She would sing our parts to us. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. But she was supposed to sing something for us, and she never, Miss Carl, you never did that for us. You never so, did that. I mean, Miss Carlson, so let's have it. <laughs> let's have it. Well, I couldn't get it on here. I couldn't get it. Yeah. Miss Carlson, if you can, you try what before we get out of here. Can you please try? Can you swipe out and swipe back in? And then it'll tell you to, if you want to send a request because when I did it, it didn't work. So hopefully, if she does that. But you remember her dog? Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yes! Cinnamon has gone to be with the Lord. Yeah, yeah, Cinnamon has gone to the Lord. I think Miss Carlton has a new dog now. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this one time. It was Chamber. We had an event. Wait, I think honest. No. Okay, now this, this one, it was like a gala that Chamber went to off campus. It was on a college campus. Anyway, it was at night, a night event. And, and for those who don't know, the chamber is an acapella chorus. Uh oh, what's this? I think this is Miss Call. Oh, snap. I hope it worked. Please let it work. Please let it work. I hit the button. I hit the button for Miss Carlton. Oh! oh! Wait. Oh! Wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> she, oh, wait. She, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all have me up here dragging. I am wrong. Look, Y'all okay. got me crying. <laughs> I am laughing so my hard. Shit, my shit. I guess you got it together, Heather, huh? Right? <laughs> you hit me with that. So <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. Thank you for joining. <laughs> I am not camera ready. I'm not camera ready. But go ahead. It's all good. Ladies.